All right, so we're only a few days away from the beginning of One Spark 2014. Can you just stand it? I'm so excited because I didn't go last year. I am this year, and thousands of people are going to head downtown, not just me, during this crowdfunding festival. Yeah, there's going to be tons of events happening at more than 70 different venues across downtown. So joining us now this morning is Joe Sampson. He is the executive director of One Spark. One Spark, really a signature event for Jacksonville now. Huge last year, even huger this year. But what's going to be new? Yeah, we're so excited. You know, One Spark is the world's crowdfunding festival, and for five days next week, from Wednesday through Sunday, over 630 creators are going to consume 20 square blocks of downtown Jacksonville to showcase their best ideas in art, innovation, music, science, and technology. And we've got a lot of new things that people can look forward to this year. What are some of those new things? I know we were just speaking during the break that there's something pretty exciting coming up, right? Yeah, absolutely. So each night during the festival, one of the most exciting additions this year is the One Spark After Dark Lot. It's going to be located at the Jack's Chamber, and we're bringing acts in from all over the world. So really great bands, uh, world-famous DJ. We've got Lady Gaga's DJ coming. Wow, oh. that's a big deal. Yeah. So tell us about the whole concept, and, and I understand there's, there's some voting kiosks. Is There's a winner, too, as well? There, there are many winners. So, uh, so like I said earlier, over 630 creators are sh showcasing their best ideas to connect with the funding and resources that they need to move their ideas forward or make them a reality. So they're showcasing to connect with $310,000 in guaranteed crowdfunds and cash awards, unlimited individual contributions from anyone anywhere in the world, and up to $3.25 million in potential capital investments. That's well, awesome. I imagine you've heard some, some pretty interesting success stories. Uh, from last no year. I mean, tell me about some of the people who have really benefited from, from One Spark. There have been so many great success stories. There are, there are companies right now who have offices and teams working in downtown Jacksonville who just had ideas that were basically a sketch on a napkin last year. Mm -hmm. And they've come that far in just a year. It's really exciting to think about the impact of this, you know, after two, three years uh, in Jacksonville. Well, what's a must-see for someone, especially like myself? Don't know what to expect. Sure. What do I need to hit up? First of all, it's really important to note that this is, this, there is something at one spark for everyone. Uh, whether you're into moving big ideas forward or, or engaging, you know, sort of the creators of tomorrow in a modern day World's Fair setting, uh, whether you're into crowdfunding, whether you're into craft beer, really good food, live music, entertainment, there's something for you within 20 square blocks of downtown Jacksonville for five full days. That's awesome. So five full days, I mean, when is the best time would, would you suggest to go? I mean, and, and how can people get information? I would say you'd want to you'd roll in there Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. and then just go ahead and leave at about 7 p.m. on Sunday night when we shut right. it down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. that's the whole answer. time. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, would, I would genuinely say that uh, the best thing to do is to come out to our opening ceremony on Wednesday night, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in Hemming Plaza. We've got Empire Theory coming up to play from Orlando, really phenomenal band. Uh, you're going to get a full sampling of the event there. There's going to be a really, really big party in downtown Jacksonville Wednesday night, and I promise you this, if you come on Wednesday, you'll be back every day. Oh, I bet. Is there a best time to take the kids? Uh, you know what, any day, but you know, Saturdays are nice because you've got no school, you've got, you know, not a whole lot going on. Bring them down, um, you know, it's going to be just a phenomenal time and a great way for them to sort of uh, engage, learn, be educated a bit, but also have a really great time in downtown Jacksonville, a really safe, family-friendly environment. And if you're just browsing, do you have to register? Uh, you do not, uh, but right now you can register at OneSpark.com. It's a totally free account. One of the cool things about OneSpark and, and, and attending is that you can engage and you can actually decide which projects receive funding through voting and contributing. That's and you can do that through the OneSpark site, or you can download the OneSpark app at the Apple App Store or Google Play. Definitely right. promoting the local people here with their original ideas, too, so it's great. Thanks no so doubt. much for joining us, Joe. Thanks. Appreciate Thank you for time. having me. Yeah, if you want to come out and experience the festival for yourself, it starts a week from tomorrow, happening downtown from April the 9th through April the 13th. It's free, but make sure to register and check in before you start voting or contributing. You can also use your smartphone or just text. They make it real easy for you. Mm, yeah, and there will be voting kiosk, or you can go online at b1spark.com.